guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing how was your day how was your night how was your weekend oh okay so today's look is going to be a valentine's day look because you know it is coming up so we have some nice pretty 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 little hearts going on here and i don't know if i'm going to use the pink or the purple i may just use the pink and gold pink and gold yeah i think i'm gonna use pink and gold i should do some new year's nails because of the stars and stuff but i think i'm gonna save that for fourth of july so we have clear by not polish and we have this sheer pink that i i mixed up and we're also gonna be using oof, that was not close we're also gonna be using chisels monomer and these tips that I got from Amazon. Yes, Kiara Sky number 12 brush. And also my regular clear. This is just for me to, like if I'm doing like marble look or whatever, or if I'm like, add it on a base yeah but i don't usually encapsulate with this i don't encapsulate with this i just either mix with it or marble with it or something else but i don't encapsulate with it so let's get to the look guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you guys add it like and everything else i appreciate it so let's get to putting our tips on and by now we should already know our sizes right right no okay anyways i don't know it so <laughs> this is the number two mm -hmm, mm -hmm. perfect all right, we're gonna do the rest. All right, our tips are on. And now, I think I'm gonna leave them this length. I'm gonna put like a clear, a, a thin layer of clear on top of it. I haven't spelled small monomer in a long time. Before I like shaping anything, like just to sharpen up that square, I'm gonna go put like a clear base, like a, a thin layer of clear in there. Just a thin layer and bring it to the cuticle close to the cure as possible, then tap. Like I use this clear if I'm gonna do like a whole clear nail and I'm gonna like draw on top of it. That's when I use this clear too. So yeah. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice clear, you know? I think that's too much of a beard. It's a nice clear, but it tends to get like bubbles inside of it. So when I'm like encapsulating a good work, I don't like to use it because I feel like it shouldn't be bubbled so you can see the art, the glitter, or anything that you are encapsulating. All right, and when I do this too, that's when I don't like I don't have to build up my apex too much because 
I already have like a good base product on here and also if I'm using like a glitter to um, colored acrylic too I use, I, I, I use that if I'm using colored acrylic oh what's my tongue feels so damn heavy if I'm using color acrylic I use that as like a block a shield to protect the natural nail bed from that color yeah so that's what I do so yep Like I put it in this, even I, I put it in my practice routine too, just so I could like make a habit of never forgetting to put that clear base. So I put it like in my practice routine too. And it also gives me adhesion from the nail tip to the my real nails. So yeah, that's another reason too. Say for example, if the nail is flimsy and I wanna sh go hard with my shape before I, I apply the whole application I'll do a thin layer of clear then wait for that to dry then get to my shaping so yeah that's one of the reasons why I do it like that you know but a lot of people do it for different reason and these are a couple of reasons why I do it so right now that it's on I'm now I'm gonna go in depth with my shape not really in depth because these are really perfectly shaped already I just like to um, go at the tip a little bit, just a little bit. Or if I'm making it more tapered, then I'll go in the side walls. But most of the time, like since I've been using this tip, it's just been already shaped nicely already. So you see this tip, these right here, I'm just going in there like just to um, narrow this out. I'm just Make it more square. See, I don't know if you guys see the difference. I don't know, today I've decided to like take you guys, not step by step, but some of the steps that I take. To provide you guys with these videos one day I want to go into like full steps of what I do from the I think I did that before I'm not sure from when I apply my peel off base coat or what I use and what I'm using now what I used to use then so yeah all right guys so I'm gonna get with the look so this is everything shaped and oh these tips are like gorgeous alright my gosh guys it was never recording I haven't made that mistake in a long time but my mon my monitor is not working, guys. So I totally forgot it's not it's not recording. So I'm literally trying to look over the camera to see what I'm doing. So I do apologize for the missing footage. So all I did was add this glitter to right here. Then I'm encapsulating the glitters with the. Um, with the regular clear, not the not polish. Now I'm going in with the not polish and I added that sheer pink right here. So now I'm just gonna encapsulate that heart. So what I noticed about the heart here, it did this, it did have some discoloration, like the gold separated itself from the heart. So I have to like add real like you know encapsulate it real quick without messing to with it too much so that don't happen so oh my gosh guys i feel like ish for that missing footage that haven't happened in a long time and like i never i just it's been a long time since i forgot to press record <laughs> so 
so yeah i'm shocked but yeah my monitor is not working so that's not there's no surprise that i that i forgot to press record because of that so i do apologize but you know the show must go on so yeah you know The show must go on. It's like, as soon as I said I want to record step by step of what's going on, this happened. It's like, I should just not have said anything at all. You know, she's just crazy. Okay. So, I'm gonna do like the same thing. I think I'm just gonna do like a whole of that glitter finger with this one. Okay, put that heart. I love this glitter pink. Like, I love it. And I think, what? I think I used this before. I used it for the unicorn nails. But this is so pretty. So I'm just gonna like put like a cuticle bead here. Put that corner. That's missing a little product. And just swoop. So let's be more solid. And just add that there.
All right, guys, this is it after filing and cleaning off my hands. So I want to go in with some design for some of the nails, like these nails right here. I want to do some design, so let's get to that one. All right, so we're going to go in with this glow in the dark pink. Just going to put a little bit here. And I need like a dotting tool, like the smallest dotting tool. And yeah, we're gonna go in with the index finger first. Put our lamp right here, and we're gonna use this brush. And we're gonna do like hearts. It's my first time doing this thing. I don't know if I'll be any good at it. So we'll see. I think I gotta put some white, cause it's not showing. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So let me see if I could tint it up more. I want to um, outline it white.
All right, guys, so I'm gonna top coat now and we're gonna use model ones. Okay, that white usually give me a big problem, so I'm gonna see. Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna like put a glob. That white usually like don't look too good after and said that I guess it's dry so much, so it should be okay. All right, oh, God, this is so pretty. All right, guys, this is the finished product. O.M. Mother G. This is so freaking cute, guys. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. So, I hope you guys like the way I added the details to the heart. I wanted the heart to look some of the hearts. I wanted some of the hearts to look a little bit 3D. So I went into like that color, like eye color faded a lot. Just so I think I'm saying the right term for it. So yeah, I wanted some of the hearts to look like they popping out like heartbeats and stuff. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, cause we are in love. Yes, so um, this is so freaking Gorge, guys this is so gorgeous i can't get over it it's more than i expected it it actually came out way nicer and my artwork check out the deet check out the details like oh yeah, this is so pretty, guys. If you like this look, give it a heart. Give it several heart. You know, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. This is so bomb. It's so cute. It's so pretty. It's like, it's. I'm, I'm in heart right now. I am in heart. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you're feeling this. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Let's get into the look. And I think it does glow. So let me see. Okay, so it does glow, but it's so much lights out here, so you're not gonna be able to see it. I'm gonna try it again in a, like, in a darker area to see if I could catch it. But yeah, you can see like the heart change color. But yeah, so I'll try to get a footage of it glowing for you guys. If not, cause it's not that much, but we'll see. All right, guys, like and subscribe. I see you guys next time in the next video. Peace out. Love you guys for free. Add a dollar more, 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 more. Bye, bye now. Let's get into this look. Guys, this is it. I'm gonna turn off the flashing light, and there it is. It's so cute. And you can't really.
Okay.